Hi, it's Rosie again, the Director of Education at Milk Street. This is Milk Street at Home. Today we're going to maximize your pantry again. We are going to take tomato paste and we're going to transform it through technique and adding a few other pantry ingredients into a tomato sauce that is going to blow your mind. It is so delicious. I kid you not. It's perfect for pasta or braising beans, other pantry staples. You're gonna have a dinner you are excited to dig into and to serve to the other people you're feeding. So what we do to develop the flavor in this sauce is first we bloom one to two teaspoons of spices in warm oil. We start the spices in warm, not hot oil so they have plenty of time to release all of their flavor into that oil. Step two, we fry, or deeply brown, six ounces of tomato paste. What we're doing is doubling down on an already concentrated flavor source. So tomato paste is already tomatoes with the water cooked out. And then on top of that, we're browning it in that fragrant, spice-flavored oil. And I should mention, at that point, if you wanted to add another flavor boost, you could add some few tablespoons of your favorite um, hot sauce. Harissa would be great. Um, or you could add some minced anchovies. That's if you want extra oomph, but we tried to keep this as simple as possible. So step three was you add your pasta water or your bean cooking water. You want starchy water to thicken that sauce so that it becomes velvety in texture. I start with half a cup of water um, and then I add more if needed. You add a little less salt, maybe half a teaspoon or less if you're starting with pasta water because we heavily salt our pasta water. If you're starting with bean liquid, it usually has less salt. You may wanna do that full half teaspoon of kosher salt and then taste. After that, if you're making pasta, the key is to add al dente pasta so that it has room. It's not, it hasn't absorbed all of the possible liquid it could. It actually has room to absorb our flavorful sauce. And this way you end up with sauce in pasta, not sauce on pasta. We prefer sauce in pasta. And that's really it. Of course you can shave some beautiful ribbons of Parmesan cheese. You can add herbs. Um, if you're putting beans into braise, I like to add in some vegetables, but you don't need to do any of that. As simple as oil, spices, tomato paste, starchy water, and salt, and you have one of the most flavorful pasta sauces you'll ever make straight out of your pantry.